It's time to gaze at our auras. It is week seven and Wednesday. So not necessarily our auras, except when you consider that everything on the planet is our aura. So, so it was pointed out to me multiple times that I had the chart on wrong. I, you know, just in the morning when I would put the chart up, because you take it down every day, I just naturally lined up the three holes on the left side. Thank you for letting me know, but what's interesting is that you told me about that, but you never told me about the day I had my t-shirt on inside out. That's fine. Let's get going with our gazing. We're going to do the same as yesterday, three minutes of fourfold breathing, followed by four minutes of the ting symbol, and then four minutes of the eye movement chart. Sound good? Close your eyes and get your fourfold breathing going. I choose to enter a relaxed state for gazing. Continue with your fourfold breathing, and now onto the Tang symbol. I gaze at the Tang symbol to stimulate my third eye and open my perception on every level.
Continue with your fourfold breathing. Now the eye movement chart. I quickly shift my focus from dot to dot to help me see the luminous field. Okay, so I got to tell you, the moment that I looked at this, instantly my third eye opened up and I had the most amazing experience of my entire life. Actually, I'm just toying with you. Um, it's a matter of good, better, best. This is the best way to do it, and Brian says that any direction is good, but this is the way that you should do it. It's the way that he did it when he was in the temple and he was learning everything himself. So how, did you play with the Christmas tree last night? I did, and I sat and I gazed at one ornament, and it wasn't my favorite ornament, just one of them for 10 minutes, and it was just, I just so thoroughly enjoyed it. If you don't have a tree, just find something special that's in your house and gaze at that and notice what goes on with the energy of it. And also be sure to be doing your tree gazing too. Um, those are fun to do. And then if you have a pet, and then human beings, your hands, a candle, 
gaze away and do your meditations. Pick any one of the meditations, and if you're meditating every day, put them in rotation. And be sure to do the elemental journey meditation because you need to keep the four elements balanced in order to be able to effectively see your auras or to even get better at them, and also for a good balanced life. So that's it for now. Have a wonderful day, and remember, get credit. I think I forgot to do it yesterday. Get credit for being with us today and doing your practice. Pete, have a wonderful day. We'll see you tomorrow.